In this tutorial, we're going to edit this portrait photo. I'll show you how to color correct the skin and add a color grade. First, I'd like to warm up the white balance as we have this beautiful light coming from the window. So I want to enhance that sunny feeling. Next, I'll lift the shadows to add a bit more detail in those areas. It feels a bit too bright, so I'll lower the exposure slightly. Now let's look at correcting the skin tones. We can see his hand is a lot more red and desaturated than his face, so I'd like to balance those out. I'll go up to my color tab and add a new layer. I'll rename this skin tone. I'll zoom in a bit closer so I can see more clearly. I'll press B to select my brush tool and you can find this tool as well as other mask drawing cursor tools here. If I want to see the brush settings, I can right click on the image. So I'll leave these as they are and I'll just start brushing over his skin. A quick way to change the brush size is to use the square bracket keys. Now I can press E to get my eraser tool and just clean up any areas I don't want included. So I definitely want to remove the mask on his lips because I don't want those colors to be affected. Now let's do his hand. I'll hold down the space bar so I can switch to my pan cursor tool to move a bit further down the image. I don't need to be so perfect here because none of the surrounding colors are similar to his skin tone, so they won't be affected in the adjustment. Now I can use the shortcut M to hide that mask. I'll open the color editor tool and choose the skin tone tab. Let me scroll down a bit. Now I'll select my color picker and choose the target skin tone. Now I can see the selected color range on the color wheel. I'll go down to my uniformity sliders. And if I start to increase the hue slider, any color that falls within my selected range is transformed to the target color I picked earlier. Skin tones should have some variation, so I'm going to reduce this so it feels nice and natural. Now I can change the overall hue using the amount slider. So if I pull this to the left, I'm adding more magenta and to the right, I'm adding more yellow. So maybe just a touch more yellow. Now let's look at the saturation. I'll come down and start increasing this slider. Now the saturation feels a lot more uniform across those two areas. This feels a bit too saturated now, so I'm going to go to my amount slider and just reduce the overall saturation. So I'm happy with this. Let me go up to the layers tool and toggle the layer off and on. So you can see just how quick and easy that was to correct those colors. Now let's add a color grade. So for full flexibility, I'll want to add a new layer again, but this time I'll hold down on the plus icon and select a new filled layer. So this will add a mask to the entire image. If I press the shortcut M, you can see the mask there. So let me hide this and I'll rename this layer color grade. So let me zoom out so I can see everything. I want the color grade to add a vintage feel. So first I'll go to my exposure tab and just desaturate the colors slightly. Now let's add a wash of color. I'll go back to my color tab and down to my color balance tool. I'd like to add some color into the shadows and highlights. So this is a really quick way of doing so. So I'm going to start with the shadow tab. I want to warm up those shadows. So I'm going to select the pointer and drag this all the way across into those warmer tones. I know I'm going to lessen the effect of this layer so I can be quite extreme at this point. Now I'll lighten those shadows using the slider to give a more vintage feel. Next, I'll choose my highlight tab and I want to use complementary colors. So because I warmed up the shadows, I'm going to cool down the highlights. So again, I'll pull this all the way across to the most saturated point. So now we can lessen the effect by going to our layers tool and just lowering the opacity until it's really subtle. So let's see the original before any adjustments were made. And now with only a few simple edits.